Hey all, Tony Bing here. Hello and welcome back to another video from Marvel Strike Force. Now, today we'll have the first impressions for Psylocke. So we start off with the orb opening. I actually bit the bullet and went ahead and got two packs for her. So fingers crossed we do well with that. We'll then rank her up and we'll have a quick look at her skills. And then once we've done that, we'll test out some gameplay with her as well. Because although I've done the video earlier on today that I got the footage from Fox next, I've not actually had a chance to play around with her yet. And I'm really looking forward to that. If I get enough time as well, I'll look to do a T8 Blitz video as well tonight, but that's just time permitting really. But let's jump in and get these orbs opened. So we've got 16 orbs in total to open here. Once we've done that, we'll go in, we'll open some red stars, and then we'll open one of the, the new red star currency ones we've got as well. And I'll give you my thoughts on which one you should actually be opening here. But here we go, let's see how we get on. Hopefully we don't get too many greens. Normally I, I see a ton of them, my luck. One purple, come on. There's a blue, so that's 20, that's decent I suppose. Another green there. I'm getting some gold, so that's good, I do need that, but I want to get a, a purple here. Never seen a gold. There's another one, so that's 10 this time. It's not that great to be honest, not far off 6 for green. Let's see. Curious how many we'll get here. Will we get her to 3 star, I wonder? 5 more to go. Another green once again. Blue this time. So that's 10 and then 72,000 on the outside, gold wise. 6 here. There's a purple. 60. Awesome stuff. Just right at the end I managed to get that. And then 8 there. So if we go in and check, 174, I think that's actually pretty decent. It was that purple that pulled me all the way up, otherwise I would have been just over 100 there. And I got 162,000 gold and some gear as well. So that's nice, that should make it better to show off in some T8 Blitz, if nothing else, due to the power levels. So let's go ahead and have a look at some of these red star orbs now. So we've got the 10% chance to get Psylocke here, so I'll actually open 10 of these. I don't want to open all of them, because the other X-Men characters look pretty nice as well, so I want to save them for that. So here we go. One Jessica Jones. It's really bad, at least we're getting those tokens now. There's a two Psylocke. Doesn't really do much though, it's only 5%, isn't it? You need a lot higher than that. Here we go, what's this one? Mordo. Is that a duplicate? Yep, yeah, I got 900 of them. Make it enough to actually open a guaranteed 4 star, I think that's the way it works. So to take it down to 12,000 shards, that'll mean it's 10 of them I've opened. Psylocke coming up again. Not doing great here at all. A fair amount of number ones. I think we've got one more to go. Let's go for one more. That wasn't great at all there, was it? Let's go in and actually quickly check out the store and then once we've done that we'll go and we'll, we'll level up Psylocke. So this store here is pretty confusing to be honest. I may actually do a video breaking it down, but from what I've been able to see here, the way it works, I'll just give you an example. If we scroll down, so you've got 5,000 of the, the five red star credits. Now, if I was to actually turn all of these in, it would be enough to get me a guaranteed four star character. So that's nice picking a guaranteed four star character. However, I could buy a ticket that will guarantee me a random five star character and that's five star minimum but it goes all the way up to seven so you either get the guaranteed four star and it's no higher or you go for the random which is five and it could be higher so from what i've seen so far i need to look at it more but from what i've seen so far i'm pretty certain with the way the scaling works on the red star orbs you're better going for the the random ones at least until you start to really fill out your roster anyway so i'll open the the elite four first we managed to get that just there actually. So guaranteed four star character minimum. Let's see, four star scientist supreme. Oh no. So that went from three to four, so it gave me 400 of the currency there. Actually, I've got enough to open another one. Is that correct? Being very careful how I do this. Let's go back a second here. I don't think I actually do it when I think about it. 
I don't. It's really quite confusing this. Let's go in here. Cross your fingers. I really want a, a five star Psylocke. That would be amazing. Should be beastly. There we go. Five star Sabretooth. That's still really pretty good. So you went from four to five. Psylocke would have been nice, but five star Sabretooth is going to hit like a truck. And I use them in my arena team. And I got some credits back there as well. So there we go. As mentioned, if you want me to do a video breaking this down further, let me know. But let's actually jump in and get leveling up Psylocke. So I've saved a, a fair amount of gold for actually leveling her up here. So let's see how I, we actually get her star-wise. Let's see, we we'll need to put more gold in. So we're up to three star. I think it's just three and a half star roughly we'll be sitting at. And that's nice. With the campaign I should get her to five star if she's going to be required as a legend to unlock in future. And that's the reason I push hard on these characters when they do come out. So I can get legend unlocks to show you all when the characters actually come out first time round. But here we go, let's go up to level 60 in the first instance and then we'll see how we're doing from there. That's 1.3 million. We still have to upgrade all our gear and our skills and so on and that costs a fair bit as well. So let's actually skip forward as always past the section when I equip the gear here. So I've managed to get her up to 22,000. The biggest problem I really have these days is gear because I'm really trying to focus to get in the Fear of the Darkness to get Ultron unlocked. So my gear is going on the five characters I'm upgrading for that. So I do struggle a little bit with newer characters here. But 22,000 is, is decent enough considering she only came out a few hours ago now. Let's actually have a quick look at her kit. So. We've got the, the traits first, so it's Hero, Global, Mutant, Brawler, X-Men and Martial Artist. Now I didn't really think about it, but because she's got Hero and Brawler, she could fit in, for the time being at least, into the Miss Marvel team. So I'm going to actually try that out in some tier 8 blitz and see how that does play out there. If we look at our stats, I'll bring them up here. Now I have already upgraded them, so it might be hard to actually get a good idea of where they're sitting but I did punch the initial base stats into my spreadsheet to work them out so if you look at her health that was up at a B rating her damage came in at an A it was really pretty decent her damage if you look at her power levels and what her damage is already five and a half thousand that's really pretty nice there now her armor looks to be an E rating the focus from what I can see looks to be exceptionally high it's probably an A one of the highest focus ratings in the game but her kit is quite reliant on are actually using skills that will be affected by focus. You then have resistance that come in at a C rating. And then if we scroll all the way down, a bit surprising this one, but our speed is pretty slow for a ninja. This comes in at a D rating, but when we look at her skills, she's potentially set up to let the other characters act first and then she acts after them and it all really falls into place there. But let's actually look at her skills now. So the first one we have, this is Psy Knife. I've took it up to level 6 so we can look at the tooltip and easily figure out what you would get at level 7. So maxed out on this one, you would attack the primary target for 270% piercing damage. That's full piercing so that will really hurt characters with high armour and then you've got our high base damage as well. So that should actually do a real decent amount of damage and pair her up with Miss Marvel and then you're getting the assists with that as well. Now, we then have the special, so this one here, it's four turns to use, you can use it turn number one if you choose, it's telekinetic armament. Now, with this one, you attack primary target for, it will be 200% piercing damage, so we've got the pierce once again there, and you chain to three adjacent targets, so in total that will be four targets you're hitting. That's for 160% damage, potentially, it's not clear if the... 40% you get at level 7 adds on to both of them. But also with this, you clear two positive effects from each target. And that's why it's important she's got that high focus there. So you will potentially be cleaning up to eight positive effects if you hit four different targets with this, which is really nice. And with this as well, counter-attack breaks the chain. That's normal for, for melee chain skills. Now the next one we have, let's jump into this, it's the ultimate. So this is Astro Butterflies. Now this one is, let's see, it's six turns to charge. You do have the chance of actually using it turn number one, so you need to figure out depending on how the fight's going if you want to use a special or the ultimate first. But this particular one here, when it's maxed out at level seven, you will transfer two negative effects from self and each ally to primary target. 
If you max it out, then you would transfer all negative effects from self and each X-Men ally to primary target. That looks to be exceptionally strong and I can't wait to test that out. Also with this, when it's maxed out, you attack the primary target for 300% piercing damage and this attack cannot miss. So if you're blinded by the likes of Magneto at the start of a match, then you can just throw all those debuffs potentially back onto him again or onto another character. So this looks like it's going to be really strong against the Brotherhood. Now, finishing up here before we check out some gameplay, we have the passive. This is called Reinvigorate. So with this particular one here, on spawn, if it's maxed out, you'll always gain evade and counter, so that'll help our survivability a fair amount. When an X-Men ally drops below 50% max health, you apply evade and counter to that ally. So that sounds really nice as well. I'll need to test it if the health goes up and down if you keep applying that. And also with this, you gain 1000% resistance against disrupted. So I don't think it's possible that anyone will be able to actually apply disrupted on you there. So that looks really interesting. The kit looks really strong. The model is awesome. It's one I'm not massively familiar with. It's like a almost a slant on the costume a lot of us are used to seeing. But I really do like the look of it. But what we'll do first with the gameplay is we'll jump in and we'll show off some of our skills just so we can see the animations. Once we've done that, we'll try and find a fun match to jump in and play with it as well. So here we go for the fun part. So I've went for a random Nexus story mission here, just so we can show off the skills. I've went for one that's got Star-Lord to see if he puts the blind on her, how that'll actually work in combination with, I believe it's a special. Here we go, let's check out the animations here. It's just quite slow, so all those characters are getting their turns first due to the extra speed that Star-Lord's providing. We're getting a whole lot of turns there, so let's see. We don't want to go for Groot actually, so we don't want to transfer anything yet, let's go for this one here. Or do we actually go for the basic? We'll go for this one actually for the chain as well. That looks nice there, like the flying kicks you've done at the end. Let's see if we get a blind on her. Ah, she resisted it, unfortunately. I was looking forward to potentially transferring that over. Let's see if we get anything else here. Resisted once again. So for that reason, let's just hold off using the ultimate for now. Let's just use the, the basic, just to see if I can get a debuff. And then we can fire it over to the other character. Wow, did she use a side bow there and then the side whip? I think she did. And I think I get really quite excited as well when she did. I'll need to watch that back. I'm pretty certain she used a side bow at the start of that, which was amazing. Let's see, let's get the ultimate next. This is one you see all the, the butterflies. This reminds me of Marvel Heroes Omega, the skill. I think it was her ultimate skill when she cast that. So actually just speed this up until it's our turn again. There we go. So we don't have any debuffs, but we're going to use the ultimate here anyway. So who will we go for? Let's actually go for Korath. That's nice, that one. That's the Saikitana doing the business. I was waiting for me to get a debuff there after using the ultimate and then not being able to transfer it. We'll go a few more rounds here. Once again, speed it up, just so we can see if we get any different animations. We'll go for the kill here. Actually, we'll go here. Ow. That was going to hurt, that one. Favourite so far, without a doubt, has been the one with the side whip. That just looks so good. And then this time, let's see, we've got the chain here, so we'll go on the, the outside. Nice, that kick on Ronan as he dropped the hammer. We're almost finished here, we'll keep going for now. Then in the next match I'll put together a group of, of players to show them off. So we'll go for the kill again here. That looks so good. And that's just a basic as well. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see, we'll go for one more skill here. 
Do we get the blind? We've got a blind this time, but I don't think the ultimate will be available yet, unfortunately. Would have been nice to see the transfer of that. No, we don't have it, unfortunately. They've all got death proof as well, so I'm not going to defeat anyone. And I missed as well, of course, because of the blind. We'll go for one more attack here at the end. Unless the ultimate's just about available, actually. Let's see. Yeah, we've got the ultimate in the next turn, so... That's nice. I think it's another new animation there, the, the multiple hits. And we'll finish off in a second tier. There's the, the passive, actually. So is that the, when you drop below 50% health, it's actually applying to ourselves as well? Really interesting and nice, if that's the case. So let's go for the ultimate here. Boom, that's down. And we may as well go for the special, because that's available as well. And then we'll, we'll finish up this gameplay. We're not getting a kill here due to the death proof. Let's go for the special. And that's us, right? So we'll finish this up. Hopefully that gave you a good little look at the skills there. Some of them look really nice. So what we'll do next is we'll see if we can get a fun team to pair it up with. So we're going for a matchup I've done a few times now when a new hero comes out and it's actually been pretty fun to do. You try them out against Nexus 5.9 and Ultimus. Now this is not me trying to beat them in any way. It's just really trying to have a bit of fun with a new character and some of the characters you can build around them. So let's see how we get on. We've got the much beefier Hulk to help us out this time. We went for the, the brawler team with Miss Marvel, I should add in. And we've got Wolverine there, so he's got the synergies with Miss Marvel, being a hero brawler. But he's got the synergies with Psylocke as well. Now, let's see. Let's straight away just go into this, into binary on Captain Marvel. Nice amount of damage there. And we've got the assist. And then we'll try and slow him down, reduce his speed bar. Managed to resist it. He can't resist the loan of the speed bar though, which will help me out. You can see Psylocke's definitely on the, the slower side here. Let's just go for this one. In fact, she's actually slower than Wolverine. So that is really slow. You do have Storm though, when I think about it offhand, that she can apply the, the speed up. And we've got not got any debuffs or anything like that. So it seems a bit of a waste here because you only get the 240% piercing. Same with this. Let's actually just go for this one. There's nothing we'll be transferring at any point here anyway. Curious if we could actually take him out. We'll put it on times two until we're, we're back round to Psylocke again. There's Hulk down. Remove the offence up. So we should see if Wolverine drops below 50% in the evade that she actually offers. Let's just go for this. Disrupted there. Could we take him down? That could be pretty fun. We'll slow it down once we get back around to it again for the animations. So Wolverine, of course, will have the fastball special. If you watched the last video I put up, you've seen the animation for it. Looks amazing. Here we go. So with the high piercing damage she does in her base damage on a hero brawler team for the time being, until we get more X-Men, she could actually fit in there, give you a little bit of fun and at least mix up your team until American Chavez comes out, or America Chavez, sorry, not American Chavez. I keep calling her that. Here we go, I reckon I'm going to take down Ultimus anyway. Got the Ultimate and Wolverine coming up, I believe. If we don't take him down before then, yeah, finishing off on the Ultimate and Wolverine. And there we go, done. So I hope that video was interesting enough. 
if you if I'm not Psylocke yourself, let me know how you get on with leveling her up if you're doing better than myself in regards to the gear. And thanks for tuning in. Keep an eye on the channel for a T rate blitz video that'll hopefully get up tonight, or if I can't do it tonight, then I'll I'll get up early tomorrow morning. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all again soon.